Hi everybody, this is Lady Z. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you're meeting me for the very first time in this channel, we focus on small to medium enterprises and we give tips and tools on how to actually go about with this business thing that we're all um, doing. And we give you tips and tools. So please join me in this video. We're going to look at what to do to start a, a new business in South Africa. So let's do this. Thank you for joining me um if we are meeting for the very first time my name is lady z and i'm in this channel ask lady z we focus on small inter entrepreneurs and small businesses and we teach them tips and tricks on how to go about doing it in south africa well some of these tricks i suppose you can use them anywhere else in the world but we we teach you tips and we try to help you navigate through the small business world and um thank you to yonela today's questions we got from yonela from twitter um at nell jasmine what's up yonela thank you for the questions and you brought out very important points that i thought we should talk about and it's six of the points that we're going to be looking at today and usually in this channel we look at people that have already started businesses but your points that you raised um actually do cover a lot of young South Africans. We saw the unemployment figures were released today. It's still standing at, I think, around about 29, 30%. Don't quote me. But it's a big, big, big number. But that's the negative side of things. The positive side is there's about 70% of people that are employed and that can buy your product or your services. So that's the flip side that you can look at when you're looking at life to see what opportunities are lying for me and what can I do to maximize on the opportunities. So the first point or the first uh, thing that we're going to talk, the, the first point that we're going to be talking about is the question from Yonel. It says, how do I start a small business? My answer to that and this is my opinion, but my answer to that is to look around where you live. Look around where you live and look around where you are, even on social media, to check and see what interests people. What are people looking for? What is missing for people around you? It could be anything. So there are lots and lots of opportunities. If you look properly and you check and you see what is it that people need, and then you feel that need that would equal to a positive business for yourself a small business don't um, start something that you think people like um, because you saw it online and you saw t-shirts and you thought okay that's a cool t-shirt I want to do t-shirts is it something that people need so that's what you need to look at and um, research and do your learning and check and see what is it that, pe that people are interested in and then fill that gap that would be um, my point to number one. The first one is, um, I'm aligned to what you love. Okay, she asked, how can she sustain the business? If she actually eventually finds what is missing in the market and she is, um, or you are for that matter, if you are picking up that people need a certain thing, how can you sustain that business once you've decided to start the business? My answer to that question is passion, intent, and love. What do I mean by passion, intent, and love? Be intentional in what you do and what you're trying to achieve. Love what you do and love to save. So if you pause and you say people like food, for example, and you see that there's factories around you and there's nobody providing them, let's say, umkhodu, for example, and you see that there is a need and you did your research, you ask the workers around there to say, would they like umkhodu for lunch? So I'm just making an example. So just check yourself. Is it something that you love 
or is the smell of mkhodu going to repulse you after a certain period of time and is cooking your passion are you intentionally trying to change people's lives and are you intentionally trying to be serving of the customers that you've decided to start the business with so it is crucial that you do something that you love because that's going to carry you for years and years and years because you're doing something that you love not something your friends suggested or a fad that's currently going on online you just go with your gut and go with what the market is asking for and then make sure that you're willing to serve the market that's point number two point number three um let me just look at my book how do i ensure that i don't go from hand to mouth <laughs> the only way you can ensure to go not to go from hand to mouth is to be intentional about your business and be willing to work extremely hard trust me in the first couple of months to two years you're not gonna break even you're not going to make a lot of money it will be hand to mouth i'm sorry to say this to you but um, starting a business is extremely hard it looks sexy but it's not be willing to work 18 hours a day if need be be willing to wake up at um, half past three in the morning peel potatoes so that you can um, make chips so that the chips are ready by lunchtime so be willing to put in an extra effort because you are the chief worker you, CEO means nothing if there's no money so you are the person that needs to work the hardest to bring the money in. So I'm sorry to say this to you, but in the first couple of, of, of months, two years, you are going to live hand to mouth. The other thing that you can do, try to live a simplistic life. The, the nice to haves, if you have a premium DSTV for, for that mid, Reduce the DSTV to the 99 rands one or the 300 rands one and see where you can cut your costs and um, spend on necessary items and not unnecessary. So try to be minimalistic about it. That is going to help your business grow and use only what you need instead of what you want. That will help sustain the business going forward. So the next point is what do i do with slips and stuff this one yonela you're gonna have to let me know what you mean because i don't understand what you were asking me on this question tell me more then we can tackle the question the next one you ask how do i start a business with limited capital or no capital at all this is not so hard anymore it used to be hard in my days when we were starting businesses we needed money so um the digital space uh the facebook's the twitter's the Instagrams, the LinkedIn's, the platforms are free. What you need to be um, uh, budgeting for there would be data. So there's digital marketing businesses that you can start, which would cost you very little money. Um, and you can learn to digitally work the apps. And then you can try to get clients that you can advertise for. And there's even a course that Google has created. It's a free course that teaches you digital marketing skills. So I'm going to put a link down below so that you can click on the link and you can start learning. Anybody can, can, and you can teach yourself digital marketing. That is just one idea. There's lots of them. So the other idea when you were asking little to none, the, there's this company that we advertise for called Lilium Collection. They sell perfume at, um, they call it at stock price, at stock price from 10 rands. You can buy 10 of those because stock price is if you buy 10. If you buy 10 of those, the uh, resale price or the, the, the uh, shop's price is 20 rands. So if you bought that perfume for 10 rands, you could sell it for 20 rands. You get like 100% profit. And you can start that business literally with 100 rands. If you sold all of those um, 10 perfumes, you would have made 200 rands. Then you can stop using the 200 rands and you can grow your business from there. So like I say, there's lots of opportunities. If you find something that you love and you find something that you're willing to serve your community with, 
meaning the people that you're going to be advertising to, the people that are going to be buying your poly, um, your brand, if you're willing to serve them, be willing to serve them, then you can make a success. So there's lots of opportunities. Please look around you and then let me know um, how it goes. Um, I would love to hear comments. The last point that um, Yonela brought was how to keep motivated. My only answer to this one is find something you love and find a reason not to be hungry. So if hunger for you is a, is a problem like me, I don't want, I don't like to be hungry. I'm very motivated to work as hard as I can because I don't like to be hungry. And I have kids, so my kids are my life. Because of my kids, I will work as hard as I can. I will work 18 hours nonstop with back aches and everything because they motivate me. So you need to find what motivates you. No one can motivate you. We can put um, Tuesday motivations on Twitter and Instagram and nice posts. You can read them. But if motivation doesn't come within, in other words, you need to find a reason why to be motivated yourself. And hustling and being an entrepreneur is very lonely. So you need to learn to motivate yourself when people are telling you this is not going to work. So once you find that one thing that motivates you, there's no need for anybody else to motivate you. So I hope this helped you a little bit with how to start a business. Hit me up on comments below. And if you like our videos, consider subscribing. We really like um, additional subscribers and we aim to add value in this channel. So thank you for spending time with me. I will see you on the next one.